So let's talk a little bit about the trends in sports marketing and how they're likely to change the business moving forward. Your book is a couple of years old, and of course you'll notice that when you see some of the data entries in that book. But the real question is not so much where sports marketing has been, but where is it headed next? So let's look at um, a recent um, article published by Daniel McCauley who's a, uh, um, a, a marketing, uh, sports marketing expert uh, and trends that he's looking at right now. The first one is um, over the top content. And of course, you're probably, most of you are familiar with the term over the top content. It means that content can ultimately be received independently of any terminal device. What that means is you can now watch live sports anywhere on any device. And the idea then of over-the-top content is an important one because it does change how sports is going to be consumed from a distance. Second, artificial intelligence. Uh, of course, we all you know we all hear the story about artificial intelligence is changing the world. Um, you know, there's um, um, you know it has to do with things like. Um, autonomous driving cars and those sorts of things. Um, it will have an impact on sports marketing and in particular, I think maybe even sports betting. It's sort of interesting because in the in the uh, discussion that he had in the article, and you'll see, if you see the article, he's just talking about things like chat bots, which of course have a little bit of artificial intelligence in them, but that's not really uh, what we would consider state-of-the-art artificial intelligence anymore. Third, Virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality talks about the three of these as they're uh, they have great potential to greatly enhance the viewing experience, um, both in person and on screens. And I agree with that. Uh, I'm not real big on virtual reality, and I'm not so big on on mixed reality, but I am a big supporter of augmented reality. N Next on the list is wearables. Of course, the idea, uh, these are sports related wearables um, has emerged um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a very positive niche. Uh, everything from um, yardage, uh, yardage um, um, uh, estimators uh, for golf on, that you wear on your wrist uh, to uh, obviously uh, fitness and workout watches and other wearables. Next on his list is eSports, and when he talks about eSports, um, um, he, he says something that no sports market can afford not to take eSports seriously. It's here to stay, and if you don't know anything about it, you ought to learn now, and I, and I totally agree with that. The dark social refers to, of course, website traffic that cannot be attributed, uh, accurately attributed to any particular source. Um, and, of course, dark social is, is, is kind of an important aspect for um, for any business that has a has a strong online social media component, and certainly sports marketing uh, falls into that category. He talks about sustainability. Uh, he argues that sustainability and sport are now closely linked. 80% of the products are purchased for emotional reasons and 20% for functional reasons. He talks about sustainability being an important idea. Uh, it tends to be more important for younger people than older people. He talks about women in sport, like many in the industry of sports business is experiencing increasing target segmentation. And of course, his argument is that there's great opportunities to market sport to women, whether it is um, sports uh, entertainment or participation in sports. The same is true for children. And of course, he also makes note that the same is true for seniors in sports. The senior market is a huge market Baby boomers uh, have uh, are the second largest market and have the most disposable income, so they ought to be a target for anybody trying to market sports, sports equipment, or products through the use of sports. So, in summary, Macaulay was interested mostly in the idea of the social, uh, the the internet, the online uh, impact of um, of uh, on sports marketing. He's also interested in things like sustainability. And then, of course, he's interested in sort of this, and his other thing is this issue of age demographics. 
Um, I'm not sure that those would be the 10 that I would come up with. Uh, but to be successful in sports, you do need to know what's going on to the left of you and to the right of you, much as if you were playing a sport. Um, not all the things that, that he talked about are not all the things that are trends in sports marketing are going to stay around forever and have a major impact. But it's important for you to keep your eye on things that are happening in the marketing environment and think about how they might impact thing, uh, the, the sport and the business in the future. So I was thinking about this, and, and since I gave you a, a, an assignment to, 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 look, to think about some top trends, I'm going to give you my top trends, okay? So my first top trend is augmented reality. Uh, because an augmented reality is anything that can enhance the viewing experience, either online or in person. So things like, you know, in the olden days, they used to put things on the screen like the, like the batter was two for three for the day or their batting average was, um, you know, 275. Or they might say that, um, that the, that the uh, batter had, was uh, batting uh, 125 against left-handed pitching. And it got, got more and more sophisticated. All that kind of stuff is augmented reality. Uh, and, and of course it adds to the, uh, to the experience when you're watching sports online, um, you know, and, and so I really think that in the future, this is going to become even more and more and more, uh, important. I like it in baseball because it calls balls and strikes, even though they don't, it doesn't that, you know, the umpire does all the real calling of the balls and strikes. It shows whether or not it should have been called a ball or a strike. My second item here is 5G, and of course, as 5G becomes a reality, uh, that it really means that more and more um, content can be streamed, and of course, that means that you'll be able to see any sporting event uh, at any time, anywhere. And then, of course, I, my third one is is new sports like esports. I think all sports marketers need to take esports seriously. Um, this is a uh, this is going to have uh, um, 300 million people occasionally consuming esports in the near future. I think anybody who doesn't know about esports um, ought to. And I do think that you really can't be in sports marketing without knowing and respecting the potential for esports. Next on my list is instant gratification. We've become a population of instant gratification. People want stuff now both as spectators and more importantly, as participants. This leads to the wearables and other instant data devices. And so these are things like heart rate monitors, step, um, you know, many of you are, uh, 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 wear some sort of a, uh, a fitness device that tells you how many steps you, you took each day or how many calories you burned, all those sorts of things. Those are all going to be uh, even more popular in the future. Then I have a couple of trends that I think are a little bit more concerning. First is the lower attendance in TV viewing. Attendance and viewership is down for almost every major sport. Uh, I have a little chart here. Here's the last five years. Um, major League Baseball, the NFL, and NHL are all down in in-person attendance, with the NBA up slightly, 1% a year on the average. Uh, TV viewing is down for all major league sports. And online viewing is even down for major leagues, for, for all major league sports, except for major league baseball, which has made a very, very concerted effort to create more opportunities online to view baseball online. As attendance goes down, uh, you have to find other streams of revenue, and it's hard to get a better TV contract if your number of viewers is going down. So the, this is something that is a great concern, I think, for all major league sports. And one thing that sports marketers have to lose sleep over. Two other trends. One is women as participants and spectators in sports. Women's spectator levels are way down. The, the field needs more women in decision-making roles to better understand what makes sports appealing to that particular target market. In the last five years, Major League Baseball has lost 20% of its female attendees and 20% of their female TV viewers. And that looks horrible until you look at hockey. In the last five years, the NHL has lost 29% of its female attendees and 25% of their female TV viewers. 
obviously sports teams are going to have to pay more attention to this particular target market. And of course, if, if, if women are important, then seniors are perhaps even more important. Seniors are the second largest population group and have more disposable income than any other uh, age group. More and more sports products are, have to be designed for older people and older people need to be marketed to more and more and more. They have all disposable income. They are the people who can afford to attend sporting events, have the time to attend sporting events, and can spend money on sporting goods and sporting equipment. 